and inspiration comes from uh, nature, natural form, even uh, the human body, or anything uh, that strikes my fancy, different uh, physical formations or rocks or what have you. Uh, I usually tailor them to what I'm trying to accomplish in my work. Well, I don't do anything specific like a, a figure or a tree or anything like that. It's the essence of these things that I'm after, you know, the, the form itself. When I plan a piece, there are different uh, approaches I sometimes use. Generally, there may be something that catches my fancy, like a, a dance movement or a rock formation or something. And then I try and work out a composition by looking at these, uh, these forms and trying to make it consistent with what I'm trying to accomplish within that uh, framework of uh, that composition. I uh, always considered myself an artist. I was always drawing and what have you. And for many years, I, all I wanted to be was a painter. And uh, then when I came to the university, I uh, was exposed to sculpture. Before that, I had sculpture was a foreign language to me. And I became very enamored of uh, three-dimensional uh, form. For a while I was trying to do both, but after graduation uh, I found that time was just uh, of the essence. I had to make a living and this and that. So I concentrated on sculpture. I found uh, working with steel to be uh, the most alive material for me. It had it seemed to have a life of its own when I would work with it, and, and that's how I chose that over other medium. Uh, Painterly influences, uh, I was early on a very serious painter. As I said previously, uh, sculpture was a foreign language to me. After I became exposed to uh, different media, I, f I found it the most satisfying way of working. To this day, I, I'm working in three dimensions, but I still keep trying to climb back on the wall by making reliefs and things like that. Direct metal sculpture, and by that I mean welding and forging, was the thing closest to what I wanted to accomplish.